but we'll go ahead and just get right into this just so we can keep things going. Uh, you all receive the minutes via email. Um, if I could have a motion to approve those. So moved. Second. 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 <laughs> all those in favor. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Rory, you'll get this in email form, but the uh, city uh, is requiring that every single employee, including uh, those uh, commissioners that have been appointed, fill out the City of Davenport financial interest disclosure form. Um, what now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, we can, so we know where to send the checks to. Um, so if you go ahead and just fill out uh, your last name, first name, middle initial, and then you'll go down to the section where it says elected or appointed official. You'll select commission or board member. And then affirmative action commission. Um, and then answer the questions. So we skip the department. You skip, skip the department, you go down to the elected or appointed official. Okay. So then select commission and, or board uh, member. Yep. And then affirmative action. Is this to read the financial disclosure policy? There is a brief section on the back of this if you want back. to read that. Uh, that's what that is. Okay. The entire policy is several hundred pages, so I didn't prepare mm -hmm. that for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of read the back and just see if anything, if it does pertain to you, answer the questions. If it, something does pertain to you, you need to put uh, the organization name and then sign it at the bottom. So section two, we don't have to because we don't own nothing. <laughs> Most likely, people don't. Yeah. So you are a member of your committee, I'm not sure about that. Neither your duties nor their duties sale of merchandise or services to the city of Davenport. So no. Ms. Johnson, then I will proceed to section three. I mean, ugh, I hate the wording. So to an, in an organization which does or could, that could, Provide goods or services. Well, I could potentially end up being an attorney for Davenport. I mean, you never know. Absolutely. Like, you guys be troublemakers, but no, currently. <laughs> I'm just saying, the way it's worded. The way it's worded. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. but not really. Do you feel no, we just don't need no time. Yes or no? You can proceed to section three. Yeah. Yes or yes. Yes. So, above priceless. <laughs> no, mean, not. Yeah, absolutely. I do, and then it's in any organization, the first one, because it doesn't define what a specific type of organization. So obviously I own Newton Law and Newton Holdings. So then that would be a yes, because it's not defined. I guess a yes, I guess, yeah. So. I didn't anticipate all these questions, Jasmine. Well, you're, after you're having me agree, this is what I do for a living. I like, that word may, could, or otherwise. It makes a big difference, I know. I know, oh my God. You know, my husband's like, do you ever turn it off? And I'm like, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is forever how my mind is screwed up, okay? This is what they did to us in law school. Mm -hmm. They don't teach you the law in law school. They just screw up your way of seeing everything and never again the same. So You see issues that don't even exist yet. <laughs> it's uh, so true. As a matter of fact, we make issues that weren't an issue until we saw this. It's scary. <laughs> so, no. No. Okay, thank you. Sure. So, Rory, you'll get that in email uh, at some point here soon, <clears throat> along with. Uh, Do you need a physical copy of it? Uh, you'll be able to just scan it back to me after you after you fill it out. That's okay. fine. Okay. So, Thank you. Uh, the next thing on the, uh, the agenda, the city investment policy, addition of qualified institution. Uh, our city investment policy is huge, but there is a section within that. Uh, uh, and section 13, paragraph two, provides the role of the affirmative action commission in the process. Uh, 
no approval is needed. We just need to acknowledge that the Affirmative Action Commission and myself have reviewed the information. So what we're reviewing is the addition of Fortress Bank. It's a bank that's at uh, 74 and 53rd. Mm -hmm. It's been there for several years. They're now going to be allowed to hold some of the investments within the city. Uh, there's several other banks that hold investments too. Uh, but anytime there's an addition to the investment policy, we I need to at least present it and go through the fact that uh, Fortress Bank has submitted documents and that contains a letter that clearly states it will comply with the City of Davenport's investment policy. Uh, they are in compliance with the Iowa Treasurer's Office regarding acceptance of public deposits. Uh, they have provided the city their annual report, their 2020 annual report, and then their most recent Community Reinvestment Act and Home Mortgage Disclosure Act data is satisfactory. Okay, so their CRA has been rated uh, satisfactory for 2021. In Scott County, it was rated as satisfactory in 2021. And the state of Illinois, it's been rated as satisfactory in 2021. Um, so that's what I have to present because it's in our investment policy that you all receive that information. So there I go. So they it, don't let us know how much is in it. And I don't know that, yeah. <laughs> I know that we've got investments in Quad City Bank and Trust, American Bank and Trust, U.S. Bank, uh, CBI Bank and Trust, and then some other holding uh, firms as well. Uh, Dutrac, uh, IH Mississippi Valley, and the Iowa Public Agency Investment Trust. But yeah, I don't have amounts for that. I'm sure there's probably caps at how much we can invest in certain different things. Uh, so that was that. If you have any questions, I can... Uh, let our investment manager respond back to you, but because I don't know, that's over my pay grade. <laughs> uh, and then the next thing I just wanted to uh, uh, give an update. Uh, so firefighter, Davenport firefighter is currently open. Uh, great opportunity if you know of uh, some young men and or women uh, that are interested in uh, the fire service, uh, specifically of racial or ethnic minority or gender minority. Uh, that would be incredibly awesome to get. And I, well, what I can do is I'll put together an email with some of uh, flashy graphics and, and flyers that we've uh, had made that you can send out to your professional and, and personal networks. And, uh, and then when we post it on Facebook, on the city's Facebook page, uh, if you want to share that with any groups or, or whatever, that would help us get the word out. Uh, applications are open for several more weeks for Firefighter. Um, I'm currently in two hiring processes right now for Davenport police officer uh, because the process that I'm in, uh, in the background phase, we have eight uh, candidates that are in the background phase, but I have 12 openings, um, so I don't have enough in that process. That list will be certified in June, so I opened up applications at this past Monday. That'll be a July certification to hopefully get more uh, because I'm not, you know, we're uncertain until we get through the background phase of the eight that are in backgrounds, will they all pass? Because then they have to go to the final interview mm -hmm. and then they have to pass that and then get on the list in June. Um, so at max, that's eight. That leaves me short, uh, eight, nine, ten, four. So I started another process, which I never thought would even happen, but it did. Um, so that is a July certification. Um, and when that list is certified, then everyone who is hired at that point up to 12, it could be more by that time, will be sent to the August Police Academy. Um, so uh, I'll send you some stuff as well on that to send out within the year network. I had a question on the firefighter. Um, I know we've gone through the details of the police officer, but I mean, does firefighter have similar requirements in terms of like a two year education or military so service? High school, high school, high school diploma. diploma. Yes, high school okay. Diploma, uh, they need to have a valid driver's license. Didn't realize that you don't need a CDL to drive a fire truck. Hmm? What? No. That big old thing? That big old thing. No, we can all drive a fire truck. No, yeah. you don't want me to drive a fire truck. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> that, that's state law. Uh, that's incredible to me. But yeah, you do not need a CDL. You just need a valid driver's license uh, to drive one of our fire trucks. Now, of course... You don't, they don't just allow anyone to jump on in there and go. Uh, there is significant amount of training because you're talking about several hundreds of thousands of dollars of, of, of a piece of equipment, that is. But uh, 
Yeah, they need to be 21, though. That, we match that with a police officer. They have to be 21 years of age by the time of a list certification. And I'm not sure exactly when that list gets certified. I don't know if that's in June or July. Starting one those. Uh, in the mid to upper 50s. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I apologize. I should have that oh, no, all the information no, in front of me, good. but I, I didn't. Just wondering. Sometimes um, people ask. So those are the, the, the bigger openings we have right now. A lot of seasonal positions. So if you know of some people that are looking for some part-time work in the parks department, our golf courses, uh, anyone that wants to be a lifeguard, pretty easy job, but we, we train the lifeguards. We pay for all that training. Uh, those positions are still open. So, I mean, and at last year, we were, we were able to open one of our three city pools because we didn't have enough lifeguards. Uh, wow. This year, we're able to open two. So we're and what are the three pools again? Uh, there's, is there Fetchbury? Mm -hmm. There's uh, Annie Whitmire. Okay. It escapes me. Yeah, but there's three. Too. Yeah, uh, but there's one more. Uh, when I was young, there was a pool right, right down here. Downtown. Somewhere. Yeah, downtown where you mm -hmm. can see the river. Right yep. The river. It wasn't that a segregated pool for quite some time, I believe. Uh, yeah, they couldn't. Blacks couldn't get in it. Yeah. No. Must have been over by the time I got there because sure. I got in. Yeah. It. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, maybe they were asleep with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember some of the, the history on that. It's just like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not here in Davenport. Here in Davenport. That's just sad. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I will send out some information that you all can share with your uh, uh, personal and professional networks uh, mm -hmm. just sure. to help us get the word out. Uh, we're looking for just some good, qualified uh, individuals for police and fire and then the seasonal positions as well that we're looking for. Um, another opening uh, that we have, it closes on Sunday at the police department, is a civilian position, digital forensic technician. Uh, that'll be someone that works closely with the patrol and uh, criminal investigation division on extrapolating data from cell phones, hard drives, other aspects. So someone who's savvy in computer science, forensics, that kind of stuff, crime scene stuff. Uh, that'll be a new, um, that's a new civilian position to uh, assist uh, our investigators over there in, in doing all that. Um, but a lot of good stuff happening there. A lot of fun so, stuff. you going to police such instead of getting somebody to take power place? Do what now? You guys not going to get nobody out of the, like, Jeff could move up. Have so, to open it up. Yeah, oh, I mean, in, in theory, he could, but they yeah, have absolutely. to open and, it up. And at the oh. end of the day, that may be what happens, but they they will be opening a process. They're taking it to civil service next week oh, okay. to approve the process. Um, the applications will be open for three weeks for the office of chief of police, um, and then there will be th numerous steps for mm -hmm. that, including community involvement too, mm -hmm. since that's such a high profile position. There will be. Uh, an opportunity for members of the community to be involved. Now, how that looks, I'm not quite sure exactly what that's going to look like. Uh, that's more that's, that's more being run by city administration and the director of HR. But uh, more news to come on that uh, after civil service next week, so probably Thursday. So, yep. But after, what, 30 years, Chief Sikorsky's retiring. So, yep. Good for him. Yeah, that's why I said retire while you're young and enjoy yourself. You have to enjoy life, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I keep telling people that uh, 2022 is going to be the biggest year of change for the Davenport Police Department based on well, just not only the new police officers that we're hiring, but the amount of promotions. Every time there's a retirement of a ranked that opens, that's the domino effect, then someone is then promoted up, and then that opens a position, so then someone's promoted up. So there's a lot of changes going on. And then with the shift picks and uh, people being assigned from uh, patrol to investigations, just a lot of movement happening. So a lot of changes across the street. So a lot of new faces, for sure. Um, and then the, I can move on to old business, unless there's any other questions on anything that we've already covered. No. Uh, Vera, you're the vice chair. Remember, you were vice chair, because uh, <laughs> Bob was the chair. Yeah. And then he moved. Bob moved? Yeah. Where you go? 
They sold their house in Davenport. Now they're in Bettendorf. Um, but but maybe just temporarily, because they, they didn't have a place, so they got into an apartment over there. Because the, with the housing market what that was, what, what, six to eight months ago, they got a tremendous offer on their house right off of uh, Jersey Ridge. Yeah, so they took I it. Know you stay close to yeah. Me. yeah, I've got people calling me. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Trying to uh, make me offers on my house. And I yeah. keep, keep telling them I'm not interested, but they keep calling That's me. That's when I say it. You know, why should I say it? I live in nothing? Old Coventry. That's right off uh, 61st, right across from Crovet. Mm-hmm. Right from, yeah. I live by him. You do? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. In a great neighborhood. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he so, he so when he moved out of the city of Davenport, That's he, of course, had to. Huh? That up behind Lakehurst? Yeah. 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 I live in Lakehurst. She lives in Lakehurst, too. You do? Yeah. Where? 59th. 59th yeah. and the corner of 59th and what is that Lakeland Court? Okay, I live right off of 61st in Lakeland. Sign. <laughs> yeah. I live in Sea Oak Circle, right off of 61st in Lakeland. I saw a house at Sea Oaks once, not long ago. It was for sale. Was that like? Yes, they they it sold and we got new people moving in. They moved in. Yeah. They they moved in right around Christmas. Mm-hmm. Okay, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, we went and looked at that house too. It was a little bit bigger, but then there was water in the basement when we went and looked at it. We got scared. Now, yeah. like, yeah, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> Red flags, Red flags. Great area. Yep. We, I've been living there 25 years. My only uh, complaint about that area, with the fact that it's grown so much, uh, sometimes when I'm going to pull out onto Utica, Traffic. it takes a long time, yeah. Yeah. If, especially if I'm wanting to go south on Utica. And they're flying. Yeah, we had exactly. To, yeah. But that, a lot of that's coming from the Betplex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, true. Yep. That is absolutely true. But but you take that in veterans. Almost need a stoplight. <laughs> 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 but, no, I don't really want a stoplight there, but, yeah, it's just busy. So going back to the chair, so as vice chair, uh, Scott, volunteer U.S. tribute. I would love to have you consider becoming the chairwoman, and then we could decide on a vice chair. Well, is he moving back to Davenport? <laughs> Not anytime soon, but then he would have to be reappointed. Oh, okay, so, okay, so, yeah. okay. Yeah, all right. So that's probably not going to happen. So moved. At- Second. <laughs> <laughs> would you accept that? Would you yeah, be the accept. Madam Chair? Madam Chair. I like I it. I like how that sounds, Madam Chair. We can just call you Queen Bee, though. I mean, we all know. We all know what's up. <laughs> we all know. We all know. We, we all, all know. know. So. We all know. Queen Bee. <laughs> We take care of a lot of business today. And uh, that does open the uh, the vice chair. If we want to, we can push that. We can push that off until a future meeting, uh, or if there, there wants to be a discussion about someone interested in the vice chair. I'll be the vice chair. All right. Someone want to make a motion? And I was going to volunteer him as tribute, but he he won't. Good. That second. Perfect. I can't do that, can I? Okay. Um, yeah. Any questions? There's a lot going on. Yeah. I know, a lot, just, a lot going on. Little, I was going to say, just public service announcement. <laughs> Primary is on June 7th. Please vote. You need to get out and vote. Um, so I would take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Bye. Oh, righty, all righty. <laughs> Queen Bee's like, okay. We are adjourned. I'm going to okay. turn off the mic. Over. All righty. I like meetings like this. Me too.